U.S. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden will meet Queen Elizabeth II, 95, at Windsor Castle on June 13, Buckingham Palace has confirmed. One royal commentator has claimed Mr. Biden will relish getting to meet the Sage Queen despite having previously expressed his support for Meghan Markle, 39, who he praised for speaking out about her mental health during an explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in March. Mr. Biden will be the 13th U.S. President the Queen has met as she continues to honor Britain's long-lasting ties to the United States. The meeting will take place one day after the Queen celebrates her official birthday with a paired back trooping the color display at Windsor Castle next Saturday. Looking ahead to the engagement, Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, the meeting between the Queen and President Joe Biden and his wife, when the Bidens visit Britain for the G7 summit next week, will be historic. He will be the 13th president she will have met during her 69-year reign. Mr. Fitzwilliams added, meetings between the Queen and American presidents have particular symbolic importance. Although its value is constantly called into question, there is no doubt that the ties between America, the world's only superpower, and Britain are indeed special and that this relationship is one that has been forged over the years in so many important ways, from military sacrifice to cultural cooperation. Mr. Biden will likely admire the long-reigning queen for her sagacity, Mr. Fitzwilliams claimed. He added, President Biden, at 78, is a survivor of the American political scene like no other. The commentator added, he will undoubtedly relish the opportunity of meeting a monarch, whose sagacity is as renowned as the length of her reign. Touching on the diplomatic flair the Queen has shown when meeting previous U.S. presidents, Mr. Fitzwilliams said, the Queen charmed the first American president she met, President Truman. Her love of riding and remarkable equine knowledge led to a close personal bond with President Reagan. She handled the visits by Biden's erratic and unstable predecessor, Donald Trump, with seamless sang Freud. Following Meghan and Harry's extraordinary interview with Oprah in which they made a series of damning allegations against the royal household, Mr. Biden expressed support for the Duchess and praised her for the courage she had shown in talking about her mental health. At the time, Mr. Biden's press secretary Jen Psaki said, for anyone to come forward and speak about their own struggles with mental health and tell their own personal story, that takes courage and that's certainly something the president believes. The interview plunged the firm into crisis and prompted the Queen to issue a statement saying the issues raised by Meghan and Harry would be dealt with in private. However, Biden's public support for Meghan is highly unlikely to affect how the Queen receives him next week and they are likely to get on splendidly. Mr. Fitzwilliams claimed. The commentator added, It is true that Biden expressed support for the Duchess of Sussex's courage in revealing what she did publicly about her mental health in that explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. Nevertheless, these two heads of state, when they meet, will share a commodity which is both much prized and rare, experience. They are likely to get along splendidly and Anglo-American relations will be closer as a result of their meeting. The Sussexes have not been back to the UK as a family unit since quitting the firm but there are hopes they may return to join in celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next June.